were out walking, then we thought we'd sit down together and play a game in the atrium. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, oh, screaming, shit. the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Week four. Um, hmm. Have we been everywhere? I think we have. So I'm going to go back to the slums. <laughs> And I'm going to pickpocket. I need to, work on my, <laughs> need to work on my crime. You spend the week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. Nice. One night you hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on dogs violently ripping each other apart. Nice. That's not nice. That's <laughs> awful. Not one of the men spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? <laughs> sure. Uh, try to stop. I, I I can't I can't bet on dog fights even even role playing. That's <laughs> you try to convince the gamblers that dog fighting is wrong because it is. Your words fall on deaf ears. Oh son of a bitch! Very quickly they get quite angry with you. One of them walks up to you and pulls out a knife. Oh god! He tries to slash at you, but your reflexes allow you to disarm him and pin him to the ground. Nice. You put your assailant in a chokehold until he passes out. <laughs> you stop the town's illegal dogfighting. You feel very good about yourself right now. You gain <laughs> one physique, one finesse, one mind, and you gain one charm. One ma I got one of everything. What was, the fuck? That was a good week. I don't know what you guys did. You stole <laughs> money and and you stopped it. That's that's quite so, interesting. Yeah, I mean, pickpocketing's one thing, but making animals fight, that's... You're not making them fight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the hospital. You would. Mm. Hold on. What are my options? You, you're cleaning or tending to patients. I know you. I know you like cleaning. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean. You would. <laughs> You have like fancy gloves on, and you—that <laughs> <laughs> you is me. Spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is clean as it can be. One mind, one physique, and one wealth. Yeah. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. <laughs> All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. It's only ever playing chopsticks. That's why. He had to slit his throat. That's awful. <laughs> The doctors have tried stopping him, but to no avail. So try to decipher what he's saying, or sing with him. I'm a, I'm, I might offend him, but I'm gonna totally sing with him. <laughs> what are you singing? I'm. No, 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 wait, no, how does chopsticks go? I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> num num num. <laughs> you start trying to sing along with his voice. <laughs> the two of you start singing wonderful melodies together, making everyone happy. Oh. One of the doctors slips you a sack of coins to thank you. Two wealth. I'm surprised he wasn't going to be, like, offended by me. Like, you know, I think maybe he thought I was going to mock him, you know, I'm mocking his condition. You never know with this game. I mean, really. <laughs> oh, no, he murdered his ass. Uh, let's go to the palace. You want to do administration work or attend a ball? <laughs> I want to go to the fucking ball. Hell Son, yeah. Why the fuck would I go to do administration work? <laughs> <laughs> you spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Two charm and one finesse. He's totally feeling himself. Look at that. Yeah. One day the court jester approaches you. What is with this fucking jester? Hmm. <laughs> would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. I'll teach you everything <laughs> I know for a small sum. Sure, uh, for one wealth? Or yeah. Another. All right. You spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. You gain two finesse. You gain another two finesse. You happily pay the jester for his services. <laughs> you lose one yeah, wealth. Nice, though. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? We've forgotten. I don't remember. <laughs> um... I'm going to go to the gardens, and I'm going to landscape <laughs> by making a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I gain finesse, physique, and uh, one dollar. <laughs> Uno. 
One day on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Sell the ring or wear the ring. That's mine. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. The That's markings nice. unravel themselves from the ring and swirl in front of you. It's the one ring. <laughs> they form into what appears to be a fully armored ghost radiating oh, a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. <laughs> it's just like, sup, <laughs> and then <it> leaves. <laughs> the ring looks good on you. You gain one charm. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I want to go to the palace. You gonna do some work or attend a ball? I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be the one that does administration work. You're not, you, you're not invited to the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. That's why I'm, I'm working overtime. In a little bat room all by yourself. Like, <laughs> down a long dark hallway. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> you're paid two wealth and gained one mine. One, one day you decide to le lean up against the wall just to take a break. It rotates as you apply pressure and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. Host a secret party here or keep quiet about what you saw? <laughs> I'm going to host a secret party. <laughs> You're going to have your own party while the ball's going on? <laughs> exactly. I'm going to be like, hey guys, check it. Look, look what's in here. You are an alcoholic. All your friends show up. <laughs> God damn it. And the drinking begins. All this drinking improves your fortitude. You gain two physique. All this socializing improves your social skills. You gain two charm. At the secret party. <laughs> At nice. the secret party. I want to go to the tavern. And bartender drink. I want to drink. <laughs> drink. Spend the entire week getting wasted. Gain two charm and one physique. One day, the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. Enter or spectate? Enter. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart throwing prowess. You play the best games of darts in your life and manage to come out on top. You win three wealth and gain a confidence boost of two charm. Nice. It's because you learned to juggle from the jester. Yeah, damn. The yog, it's almost here. It's almost. Yeah, look at all that fog creeping in. Uh, I'm going to go to the alchemy tower. And I'm going to brew a potion. Gain two magic and one mind. One day you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. <laughs> I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. Oh god. The, <laughs> the undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Destroy that abomination or praise his accomplishment. Dude, that's awesome. He made an undead ferret. That's amazing. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings. You gain one charm. <laughs> that's gonna bite us in the end. <laughs> You don't want to watch no dog fights, but you'll praise a dude who makes like, great animals back to life? Yeah, you know, human transmutation. Hell yeah. Dude, like that episode where that dude transmuted his daughter and the dog together? No. That shit was hilarious. It's not. It's like my favorite episode. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> it's like the funniest episode they've ever done. Cool song. <laughs> 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 no, like, let's move forward. Where are you going, Mike? Hurry up. <laughs> Damn it, I wanna go, I wanna go to the slums. Cause I haven't been there yet. What are you gonna do there? I'm gonna fight crime. Of course Good you way. would. Goody two shoes with your illegal parties. <laughs> <laughs> you outsmart and beat up criminals. One mine, one finesse, no, well, one physique, <laughs> and one finesse. I'm trying to read too fast. <laughs> you, you combined them, I saw what you did. Oh my god. No. One night you hear a woman whisper at you from nearby. She's selling dragons, so you should buy it. <laughs> hey you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. I'm always uh, up for more coin, or no thanks. I'm always up for more coin. She signals for you to get into the alleyway, alleyway with her. Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in <laughs> close, eager to learn how you'll be earning this coin. 
Ooh. She presses She's... herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood, blood pours from the wound, and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. You black out. When you come to, you see her standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple coins. You gain one wealth. <laughs> she then melts into the shadows. She's a fucking vampire. I'm gonna be a vampire? When you feel your neck, you notice your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain three charm. You and lose you're a three vampire. physique. You know why I gained three charm? It's because I'm sparkly as shit. You're a fucking vampire. I wanna be a vampire. I wanna be a vampire. <laughs> Fuck, where can I go to be a vampire? I want to go to the hospital. Maybe that's where the, she went. <laughs> uh, ten to no, I did that last time, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, clean up. Clean. No, fuck it. Ten to patience again. Maybe one of these fuckers will give me like their super aids or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! One day the bloodletting leeches somehow escape from their containers. Leeches start flooding into the hallway. There are people screaming everywhere as leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. Zap the leeches with magic or use yourself as bait. Uh, uh, bait. <laughs> Hopefully they give me super aids. <laughs> you start taunting the leeches to lead them back into their containers. With great skill, you manage to avoid the leeches' fangs. Whoa! You then lure them all back into their containers. Quick thinking. You gain one mind. The storm Damn arrives it. in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, and ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, or we, past saving? Alright, so... Our town is completely cool. fucked up. So now we choose a roll. Um... I... <laughs> the town drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, try to be a, a tailor. It looks like people might need some clothes. And I think finesse would be good for that, and that's one of my highest ones. So yeah. You volunteer to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. You manage to make a new set of clothes for every survivor. Morale nice. increases, and everybody is pretty excited for new their new socks, scarves, hats, etc. This helps the survival effort a lot. Very nice. Mike, what um, are you gonna do? I have 13 charm, 10 physique. Um, as far as charm as being my highest skill, I could be the leader. Alright. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. Immediately upon stepping in front of the crowd of able workers, your skin turns milky white. You lose three physique. <laughs> you start to give orders and notice everyone is hanging on your every word. You also notice your teeth are a little sharper than usual. Oh god! You Am gain, I gonna kill them all? You gain three charm. You have you're an easy a vampire. <laughs> yeah, you're totally a vampire. You have an easy time leading the town with all the survivors becoming almost like obedient slaves. Oh no, I'm using the charm! That's why I'm charming! You slowly build yourself up to a position of power. This strong leadership helps the survival effort. I'm gonna kill them all! I know it! It'd help the survival effort even more, but you keep eating people. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing I can do Conjurer, because I have high mind. I think that would be good. Magic would be high. So... You'd yeah? Oh wait, magic? Yeah. Oh wait, no, what the fuck is mind then? You'd I didn't even see magic on there. You'd probably be a good doctor. With mind? Sure, fuck it. <laughs> Let's right. do it. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the Yogg. You're able to fix up most of all your patients in no time at all. This means there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the survival effort considerably. I think you did the the, the most to help the town. <laughs> and so we set about our tasks, once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted, because our leader is a fucking vampire. Hmm. <laughs> but in the end, 
It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish, and whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? So we got, we got like the middle ending. We did okay. We, we did okay. <laughs> because you're a vampire well, leader. <laughs> Uh, for me, while the town is being rebuilt, you decide to celebrate. You organize a huge festival in honor of the bravery that helps so save so many lives. The first one is so successful, you decide to make it an annual tradition. Every year, the festival gets bigger and more elaborate, and every year it costs more and more money to put in put on. You have to start charging admission, and no one is happy about it. <laughs> the annual festival slowly fades out of relevance, and before long, it is, is canceled completely. You don't really know what to do with your life after all of that. <laughs> oh my god, just depressing! Ah, uh, Mike. While the town is being rebuilt, your unholy reen has reached its pinnacle. Everyone in the town cowers before you and your squadron of bloodsuckers. You take hold in the half-built palace with servants running around, catering to your every whim. You hold extravagant balls in complete darkness, featuring elaborate fountains that pour delicious, delicious blood. One day, a man in an elaborate hat and cape breaks into your palace. Your guards are swiftly dealt with by his repeating crossbow. He looks at you and smiles. Then, that no scene. before your inhuman reflexes can react, your body is riddled with bolts. Jesus! You crumble into ash. I got killed! You get killed by Van Helsing. <laughs> for, for Eric, the Yogg changed you, and probably for the better. With the town being rebuilt, you eventually decide to retake your role as a doctor in the hospital. There you make friends with another doctor. The two of you do everything together. You're inseparable. Eventually, you decide to get an apartment and live with each other. Then your friend gets married, and everything changes. Their, <laughs> their spouse has to move away to a new town, and your friend follows. You try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You try to fraternize with the other doctors. While they're all nice people, nothing can compare. <laughs> that's sad! So that's the Yogg. <laughs> getting killed by fucking Van Helsing. <laughs> I, got, I got murdered. Well, yeah. After murdering lots of people. Me and Eric are just kind of bummed out. Mike, you just, you know, became a fucking monster. And you, <laughs> you got, got killed. You got what's coming to you. <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> well, guys... That was interesting. <laughs> so, this is the atrium, and, and that was the Yogg. <laughs>